Hey, what's up Internet friends? My name is Tiff Getty and I am a pro photographer and helicopter pilot. And I am here to teach you everything I know. Let's get started. So, this isn't the video I planned on doing today, but this just transpired and I found it super cool and inspiring and I wanted to share it with you guys because it's a story that should be shared. Like, even back in the day, I would have been like, that's a nice story. So, it goes like this. Wait a minute. Let's do an intro first. goes like this. Let me give you the, the quick and dirty version. Wait, short and dirty? I'm going to give you the abridged version. So a client ordered a photograph from my website the other day. Awesome. All right. There's a picture I just recently taken and it was first snowfall of the year. It was beautiful. And the picture looks fantastic on the website, but she ordered an 11 by 14 on matte paper. I have all the art paper, I have the fancy printer, and I printed this thing out and it looked like garbage. It, I wouldn't have turned it in for a school project. I was so mad about it. Censored. I went through and tried to print through like maybe four or five apps. I watched all of the Canon tutorials. I updated my ICC color profiles. Nothing was working. I didn't want to go in and edit the photo further because it was going to get to a point where it didn't look like the photo that was purchased from the website and I ended up printing off I don't know 25 30 different iterations of it before I was happy in addition to the two photos she ordered I also did them in metallic and I also gave her an additional one that I really liked, uh, a similar picture, they were all horses, and uh, printed that out on metallic as well, and delivered them to her. And when I told her that the others were on me, and I apologized for it being late, she was very surprised and very grateful um, that I would do that for her, but I think that's, that's the bare ass minimum that you can do. It was just really rewarding and awesome and unexpected. It turned out to be a super cool, rewarding interaction. I absolutely was super stoked on it. Now, my last career, I was an intelligence collector. So it was awesome. It was very rewarding to get actionable intel, be able to call that intel in and, you know, have troops avoid a roadside bomb you know that that's seeing the the end result of your efforts very quickly certainly didn't think I would experience that with photography but man after that I wish I could hand deliver all of my photographs I mean I think I think right now let's not get overconfident Tiff but <laughs> someone could hate it I guess <laughs> but seeing the look on her little boy's face was was absolutely priceless it was just like made me want to come home and sell more stuff and deliver it you know i always say if i win the lottery i'm gonna deliver flowers that's all i want to do I, I don't know anybody that gets mad when they get flowers i know i get delighted i just thought i'd share that little anecdote with you so it got me thinking i came home and i was all stoked i was in a good mood and you know just because we need to stay away from each other right now to protect one another doesn't mean we can't do something kind for somebody else. To make people happy, to make kids happy, to make somebody's day, uh, especially right now in the current climate, we're being isolated from one another whether we want to or not. I'm pretty sure the state of Kansas is now closed. It's scarier for some people, especially those that are more susceptible to it. You know, I know there's a fair amount of elderly people that, that live in my neighborhood. I think I live in somewhat of a geriatric town. Um, there are people out there that nobody's probably checked on. I don't know. I kind of want to like start something. Like 
do something nice for somebody. Put a card in their mailbox. Send them something. Do a FaceTime chat with your neighbors. Check on them. Plant a shrubbery for them. We want a shrubbery. Let's do this. Try to do something kind for somebody else. And I'm not saying that you don't do that already. In addition, one kind, selfless act, and let's just take care of each other during this, especially now. We need each other. Even though we can't be physically near each other, we can let somebody know we're thinking about them. We can make somebody else's day. So here is my offer in addition to my challenge. Those of you who go out and do a random act of kindness and post about it in my comments below between now and a week from now, April 13th, I will randomly select amongst you guys for your very own 11 by 14 signed print of your choosing from my website, Veritas. I will link that down below for you. Your very own shiny signed photograph from TIFF. I will start the trend. I challenge you to do the same. I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.